Jones here. You're listening to the Chain Merchant Podcast, all about supply chain advantage. Great episode coming up on the effective management of data and supply chains. So stick around, stay tuned, get informed, get that supply chain advantage. Welcome to a timely episode of the Chain Reaction Podcast, where we delve into the pivotal role of data management in the intricate world of global supply chains. Today, we navigate the complexities of data sovereignty, understanding how laws and regulations across different jurisdictions impact data handling and necessitate astute compliance strategies. We'll explore the critical importance of data gathering, analysis, storage and retrieval, and how these processes serve as the backbone of supply chain management, enabling informed decision-making and operational efficiency. Next, we'll focus on enhancing data quality, a cornerstone for accuracy and reliability in supply chain operations. We'll tackle the sensitive issue of data privacy, discussing how businesses can protect sensitive information while fostering transparency and trust. The discussion will then shift to the risks associated with data breaches, highlighting the potential repercussions and the importance of robust security measures. Finally, We'll equip you with strategies to prepare for data breaches, ensuring resilience and continuity in the face of such challenges. Join us as we dissect these critical aspects of supply chain management, offering valuable insights and practical advice to help you manage your data effectively and securely. In an era where data is as valuable as currency, managing cross-border data transfers has become a critical issue. For companies operating on a global scale. The concept of data sovereignty, which refers to the idea that data is subject to the laws and governance structures within the nation it's collected, poses unique challenges in the realm of international business. The crux of the challenge lies in the conflicting regulations that vary from country to country. For instance, the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, imposes strict rules on data transfer, while other nations may have more lenient or vastly different regulations. This disparity necessitates a robust strategy to ensure compliance and maintain operational fluidity. To address these challenges, companies are turning to legal mechanisms such as Standard Contractual Clauses, SCCs, and Binding Corporate Rules, BCRs to provide a stable foundation for data transfers. These legal tools are designed to protect personal data and ensure that companies adhere to the highest standards of privacy, regardless of the data's destination. Moreover, technological solutions play a pivotal role. Encryption and secure transfer methods safeguard data integrity and confidentiality, ensuring that sensitive information remains protected across borders. In some cases, companies opt for data localization, storing and processing information within the country of origin to comply with local laws. However, these measures are not foolproof. The dynamic nature of technology and ever-evolving legal landscapes require companies to remain agile. Continuous monitoring, regular audits and a willingness to adapt strategies are essential to navigate the complexities of data sovereignty. As companies forge ahead in the digital age, the importance of data management cannot be overstated. It's a delicate balance of legal compliance, technological prowess, and strategic foresight. Those who master this balance will not only mitigate risks, but also gain a competitive edge in the global marketplace, building trust and ensuring long-term success. In conclusion, data sovereignty is not just a legal requirement, it's a strategic imperative. That demands attention, expertise and innovation. As global supply chains become increasingly interconnected, the ability to manage data effectively across borders will define the leaders in the international business arena. The importance of data gathering, analysis, storage and retrieval in supply chain management is critical. In the intricate and dynamic realm of supply chain management, data serves as the backbone that supports every decision, strategy and operation. The significance of data in supply chain management cannot be overstated, as it is the critical element that enables businesses to navigate the complexities of modern commerce 
with agility and insight. Data gathering is the first step to insight. The process begins with data gathering, which involves collecting information from various sources, such as suppliers, customers, logistics providers, and market research. This data provides a comprehensive view of the supply chain, revealing patterns, trends, and anomalies that might otherwise go unnoticed. By harvesting accurate and comprehensive data, companies secure the technical and business skills needed to maximize value. Analysis is the process of turning data into decisions. Once gathered, the analysis of this data is paramount. Through techniques like supply chain analytics, companies can transform raw data into actionable insights. These insights guide decision-making from frontline operations to strategic choices, such as selecting the right supply chain operating models. For instance, analyzing customer demand patterns helps in forecasting and planning while supplier performance data can lead to better procurement strategies. Storage and the safeguarding of information is crucial. It must be done in a manner that ensures its integrity, security and accessibility. With the advent of cloud technologies and advanced enterprise resource planning systems, data storage has become more scalable and secure, allowing real-time access and collaboration across the globe. Retrieval is also critical accessing data when it matters the retrieval of data must be swift and reliable in times of disruption or when quick decisions are necessary the ability to access the right data at the right time can be the difference between a supply chain that's resilient and one that falters real-time data analytics support this need enabling companies to react quickly to current and anticipated disruptions Now let's turn our attention to the benefits of a data-driven supply chain. A data-driven supply chain is more than just efficient. It's predictive, adaptive, and intelligent. It can reduce costs, improve customer satisfaction, and drive efficiency. Moreover, it enhances transparency and visibility, which is crucial, especially if issues arise during transit. By leveraging big data analytics, companies embed data-driven methodologies into their DNA, transforming their supply chains into strategic assets to provide a competitive edge. In conclusion, the role of data in supply chain management is pivotal. It empowers businesses to make informed decisions, optimize operations, and anticipate future challenges. As supply chains continue to evolve, the mastery of data gathering, analysis, storage, and retrieval will be the hallmark of successful, resilient businesses in the global marketplace. Now let's turn our attention to improving data quality in supply chains. In the complex ecosystem of supply chain management, the quality of data is paramount. High quality data is the linchpin that ensures efficiency, transparency and responsiveness in supply chain operations. I will outline some of the strategies companies can adopt to enhance data quality. Number one, standardization of data collection. Establishing clear data standards and templates is crucial. This involves specifying the structure, format and units of measurement for each data point to ensure consistency across the board. And this is important for comparability. Number two, data governance policies play a vital role in maintaining data quality. These policies should define who is accountable for data accuracy and outline the processes for data monitoring, validation, and cleansing. Number three, leverage the technology. Utilize data mapping and transformation tools that can help align data from various sources to a standardized format. Moreover, automation and integration tools can significantly reduce manual errors and improve data accuracy. Again, we see the idea of standardization of the data, which again is this issue of comparability. Four, invest in training staff and suppliers to ensure that everyone involved understands the importance of data quality and the standards set by the company. This helps in maintaining consistency and accuracy in data collection and processing. Continuous monitoring and improvement. Regular audits and assessments of data quality can identify areas for improvement. Companies should monitor data consistency 
and enforce the established standards rigorously. Number six, supplier engagement. Collaborating with suppliers to improve data quality is essential. Suppliers should be made aware of data requirements and how they impact the supply chain's efficiency and reliability. Number seven, customer feedback integration. Customer feedback can provide insights into the accuracy and relevance of supply chain data. Integrating this feedback into the data quality improvement process can lead to more customer-centric operations. This is the importance of having a customer-focused supply chain and having the data to understand it better. Number eight, investing in advanced analytics. Advanced analytics can uncover patterns and insights that may indicate data quality issues. By analyzing data, companies can proactively address these issues before they escalate. Number nine, creating a culture of quality. Fostering a culture that values data and the quality of that data within the organization encourages employees to take ownership and pride in maintaining high data standards. And number 10, benchmarking and learning. Companies should benchmark their data quality against industry standards and learn from best practice. This can provide a roadmap for continuous improvement and innovation. By implementing these strategies, companies can significantly improve the quality of their data, leading to a more robust and responsive supply chain. High-quality data is not just an operational asset, it's a strategic tool that can provide a competitive advantage in today's fast-paced market. Handling data privacy concerns in supply chain management. In today's digital age, data privacy has become a cornerstone of business ethics and compliance, especially in supply chain management, as companies navigate the complexities of global supply chains. They must also grapple with the challenges of safeguarding sensitive information. Here I outline some strategies that companies can employ to address data privacy concerns. Number one, understand the legal framework. It's imperative for companies to comprehend the legal landscape surrounding data privacy, which includes regulations like the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, and the California Consumer Privacy Act, CCPA. Ensuring compliance with these laws helps mitigate legal risks and reinforces consumer trust. GDPR, of course, is the European Union regulation. Number two, conducting thorough data audits. Regular data audits can help companies understand where and how data is stored, processed and transmitted within the supply chain. This step is critical for identifying potential vulnerabilities and ensuring that data handling practices meet privacy standards. Number three, develop robust privacy policies. Clear and comprehensive privacy policies should be established detailing how data is collected, used and protected. These policies must be communicated effectively to all stakeholders, including suppliers and customers. Number four, implementing strong data security measures. Companies should deploy advanced security technologies such as encryption, access controls and network security solutions to protect data from unauthorized access and breaches. Number five, training employees and partners. Ongoing training programs for employees and supply chain partners can raise awareness about data privacy concerns and the importance of adhering to company policies and legal requirements. Number six, establishing incident response protocols. In the event of a data breach, having a well-defined incident response plan can help companies act swiftly to mitigate damage and communicate transparently with affected parties. Number seven, leveraging privacy-enhancing technologies. Investing in technologies that enhance privacy, such as anonymization, pseudonymization, can reduce the risk of data exposure while still allowing for valuable data analytics. Whereas anonymization removes all personal references so that personal and personal data related to the Submission cannot be identified. Pseudonymization is a technique that might replace names with codes. And encryption is a protective technique, of course, to keep the data safe from prying eyes. Only those meant to see it will see it. Number eight, monitoring and compliance. Continuous monitoring of data flows and regular compliance checks can ensure that privacy measures are effective and that any deviations are corrected promptly. Number nine, 
supplier and partner management, vetting suppliers and partners for their data privacy practices and requiring them to adhere to the company's privacy standards is essential for maintaining a secure supply chain. And number 10, customer engagement and transparency. Keeping customers informed how their data is being used and providing them with control over their personal information can foster trust and loyalty. By integrating these strategies into their supply chain management practices, companies can create a secure environment that respects data privacy and builds trust with all stakeholders. As supply chains become increasingly digital, the importance of data privacy will only continue to grow, making it a critical aspect of competitive advantage in the global market. For more insights on securing data flows in supply chain management, you might want to do some further reading on the matter. And you could take a look at my Supply Chain Strategies book where I discuss such matters. Now let's turn attention to the risks of data breaches in supply chains. In the interconnected world of supply chain management, data breaches pose a significant threat to the integrity and smooth operation of supply chains. They can be very disruptive. The breaches can have the far-reaching consequences of affecting not just the immediate parties involved, but also the end consumers and the broader economy. Here are some of the critical risks associated with data breaches in supply chains. Number one, compromised sensitive data. Data breaches can lead to the exposure of sensitive information such as customer records, intellectual property, trade secrets and classified documents. The loss of such data can severely impact the competitive edge and market position of the company. Number two, there can be financial loss. The immediate aftermath of a data breach often involves substantial financial costs relating to crisis management, legal fees, compensations and fines for regulatory non-compliance. Long-term financial implications may include loss of sales due to damaged reputation. Number three, disruptions in operations. Cyber attacks such as ransomware can halt the operations of suppliers, leading to delays, unfulfilled orders, and a breakdown in production schedules. These disruptions can cascade through the supply chain, causing widespread operational inefficiencies. Number four, reputational damage. A company's reputation is one of its most valuable assets. Building that brand costs a lot of money over time. Data breaches can erode customer trust and loyalty, which can be difficult and costly to rebuild. The negative publicity can also deter potential partners and investors. Number five, regulatory non-compliance. Companies are increasingly subject to stringent data protection regulations. A breach can result in non-compliance, leading to legal penalties, sanctions and restrictions on future business activities. Number six, endangerment to human life and safety. In certain industries, such as healthcare or transportation, a data breach can have dire consequences, potentially endangering lives due to interrupted services or compromised safety protocols. Number seven, loss of intellectual property. Intellectual property theft can give competitors unauthorized access to proprietary technologies or processes, leading to a loss of market advantage and revenue. Number eight, third-party risks. Supply chains often involve multiple third parties, and a breach in any part of this network can expose the entire chain to vulnerabilities. The interconnected nature of these relationships means that risks can be amplified across the network. Number nine, legal and litigation risks. Affected parties may seek legal recourse following a data breach, leading to lengthy and costly litigation processes. This can further strain resources and distract from core business operations. And number 10, Erosion of customer confidence. Customers expect their data to be handled securely. A breach can lead to a loss of customer confidence, which can be particularly damaging in industries where customers' trust is paramount. To mitigate these risks, companies must adopt comprehensive cyber security measures, enforce robust governance policies, and ensure continuous monitoring and compliance. Additionally, fostering a culture of security... Awareness and collaboration across the supply chain is essential to safeguard against potential breaches. So how can you prepare for data breaches in supply chains? Well, here's a few tips. 
In the digital era, data breaches are a looming threat that can disrupt the most meticulously managed supply chains. Companies must be proactive in their approach to cybersecurity, protect their operations, reputation and the bottom line. Here are some steps. Number one, risk assessment and management. Begin with a thorough risk assessment of the entire supply chain to identify potential vulnerabilities. This should include an evaluation of third parties and their security measures. To understand where the risks lie is the first step in developing a robust defense strategy. Number two, cybersecurity framework implementation. Implement a comprehensive cybersecurity framework that aligns with industry standards and best practices. This framework should encompass policies, procedures and controls designed to protect data integrity, confidentiality and availability. Number three, vendor due diligence. Conduct rigorous due diligence on all suppliers and partners, ensuring they have strong cybersecurity measures in place and that they comply with your company's security requirements. Regularly review and update these requirements to address evolving threats. Number four, contractual safeguards. Include robust cybersecurity requirements in contracts with key supply chain providers. These should cover systems resiliency, regular personnel training, prompt breach notification, cooperation in the event of a breach, and periodic audits. Number five, employee training and awareness. Regularly train employees on cybersecurity, best practices, and the importance of data security. Encourage a culture of security awareness throughout the organization. Number six, incident response planning. Develop and regularly test an incident response plan that outlines procedures to follow in the event of a data breach. This plan should include communication strategies, roles and responsibilities, and steps to contain and remediate the breach. Number seven, investment in technology. Invest in advanced security technologies such as encryption, intrusion detection systems, and network monitoring tools. These technologies can help detect and prevent breaches before they cause significant damage. Number eight, continuous monitoring. Continuously monitor the supply chain for unusual activity that could indicate a breach. Use advanced analytics and machine learning to detect patterns that human analysis might miss. Number nine, information sharing. Participate in industry-wide information sharing initiatives to stay informed about the latest threats and best practices. Sharing information with peers can help improve the security posture of the entire supply chain network. Number 10, cyber insurance. Consider purchasing cyber insurance to mitigate financial losses in the event of data breach. This can provide a safety net and help cover the costs associated with recovery efforts. Number 11, regulatory compliance. Stay up to date with relevant data protection regulations and ensure compliance. This is not only to protect against legal repercussions, but also to reinforce the company's commitment to data security. Number 12, supply chain segmentation. Segment the supply chain network to limit the spread of a breach by compartmentalizing information and access. Companies can reduce the impact of the breach on the entire supply chain. 13. Building a resilient culture. Foster resilience by building a culture that prioritizes security in every aspect of the supply chain. Encourage reporting of security concerns and promote open communication about potential risks. By taking these steps, companies can create a proactive and comprehensive approach to cybersecurity within their supply chains. While it's impossible to eliminate all risks, preparation and vigilance can significantly reduce the likelihood and impact of data breaches. As we draw the episode to a close, we reflect on the multifaceted nature of data management within supply chains. We've traversed the terrain of data sovereignty, recognizing the intricate balance between global operations and local regulations. The importance of meticulous data gathering, analysis, storage and retrieval has been underscored, affirming their role as the linchpin of strategic supply chain management. We've delved into the imperative of improving data quality, acknowledging that the integrity of supply chain decisions hinges on the reliability of data. Our conversation on data privacy has illuminated the need for vigilance 
and proactive measures to safeguard sensitive information, fostering a culture of security and trust. The perils of data breaches have been laid bare, prompting us to consider the profound implications of such events on supply chain, continuity and reputation. In preparing for data breaches, we've armed ourselves with knowledge and strategies to fortify our systems against the inevitable. This episode has not only highlighted the challenges faced in managing supply chain data, but also provided a roadmap for navigating these complexities with confidence and competence. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of supply chain data management. May the insights shared here guide you towards robust, resilient and responsive supply chain practices and even proactive supply chain practices. Until the next time, keep striving for excellence in every link of your supply chain. I'm Tony Hines. I'm signing off, and I'll see you next time in the Chain Reaction Podcast. Bye for now. supply chain advantage. I've been researching and writing about supply chains for over 25 years. I wrote my first book on supply chain strategies in the early 2000s. Each week we have special episodes on particular topics relating to supply chains. Now we have a weekly news roundup every Saturday at 12 noon. All things impacting global supply chains in that week. So come and join us on the Chain Reaction Podcast. I look forward to seeing you there. I'm Tony Hines. I'm signing off. Bye for now.